guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing another houseplant shopping vlog, but this time we're not gonna set a budget and I really don't have any intentions of buying, so we're mostly gonna do window shopping. I wanna just take you guys out with me for the day. It's a beautiful day out in the city right now, so I wanna take advantage of it. And I wanna check out a few plant shops that I typically go to when I'm inside the city. These are usually corner stores or convenience stores. I don't know if you guys have them where you are, but they're typically family-owned business. They have like, you know, groceries, uh, some food, some household items, and plants. So they have plants and that's what I wanna do right now. And there's one that I usually go to whenever I get a haircut. Uh, it's close to my barber. So because the barber shop has been closed for months now, I haven't been out there in a while. So I wanna check out, see what they got. So that's what we're gonna do today. But first we're gonna grab a coffee just around the neighborhood and then we'll drive up north first and then we'll go west where I usually go to uh, near my barber shop. But uh, yeah, let's go. I'm just getting ready Let me be honest I don't know a single thing That I haven't done To make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking all right, guys, so there's two corner convenience stores I check out at the corner of Parliament and Wellesley here. One is uh, Parliament Smoke and Gift that you guys see behind me. And the other one's surprisingly just across the street called James Milltown. So we're going to go check these guys out. We'll start with this one and let's see what they got. So I'm here at Parliament Smoke and Gift and uh, man, they got some pretty cool plants going on here. Look at this huge Monstera, look how big this guy is. Um, see what the price is, 95 bucks, that's not bad for this size. And they got a lot of fiddly figs that you guys see here, a lot of palms, snake plants, and uh, man, check this one out. Check these caladiums out with some ferns. Love that color contrast of the white and red. And like I said, there's that Monstera, some golden pothos, some great scantia. An alocasia right here. Snake plant. Got this burgundy rubber plant. Some Philly fig. huge fiddly fig tree so this is how i wish my fiddly fig looked uh, nice and full got some marantas peperomia watermelon this looks pretty cool has like that fuzzy um look to it Fish vines. So, so far, I'm considering getting this spider plant. I miss my huge spider plant that I once had. And this looks like a decent size, plus there's like probably four or five in here. And uh, yeah, this was, uh, was one of my spider plants I like. And then I saw this uh, Chinese evergreen. I know a few of you guys have commented that uh, this is one of your favorite plants, really easy to care for. I've never seen one, so this looks really cool. It kind of reminds me of a Dyfenbachia cross with like an Aglomedia or something like that. Uh, pretty cool. Then obviously got some peace lilies. So let's go check out, see what they got inside, and then we'll decide if we're going to grab any plants here. All right, guys, so we're going to check out Jamestown milk here, and uh, I've gotten my Monsteras here before. So, and I also already saw a plant I think I want to get, which is a snake plant. Uh, surprisingly, I just did a, a video on snake plants, but this one's pretty cool. I haven't seen this one in a while. So this is a snake plant I've been looking for. It is called a moonshine. I think this is a moonshine. Look at that silver 
nice tone to it. So I'm definitely getting one of these guys. How much are they? Uh, I think there's a moon shine. So now we're gonna go through this dilemma again of choosing the right one. Thankfully, there's not that much to choose from. There's only about six. So you got this guy. When it comes to uh, San Severias, I like to uh, look at the tips to see, you know, how well they've been watered or if they're being overwatered. And I see one back there. That looks pretty good. Like this one back there, this looks okay. I don't see many uh, damage on the tips, but I do see. Mm, tips look good. Okay, maybe not that one. This won't take as long, I promise. <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe that one back there. All right, guys, so I think I decided to go with this one. What do you guys think? Uh, this one's nice because it has that new growth that's right here and there's one more in there as well but I also like hmm let's go check what they got inside Look at all these uh, peperomia ro rosal huge achavaras right there Look how huge these guys are We got this allocations, bird of paradise there in snake plants, Philly fig. Look how massive this ZZ plant is. See if he'll pan, you know, the wide shot. Look at that. Look how massive that guy is. <laughs> so you guys can see. See how massive that ZZ plant is? Insane! Next to it is a Monstera. And you got Peace Lilies, Chinese Evergreen, Philly Fig, and huge Ponytail Palm. And like I mentioned, these are your uh, corner convenience stores so you literally can get, you know, your mini groceries going on here, your household items, pet stuff, uh, cereal. Oh wow, check this jade out. How big that jade is. A huge aloe over here. And more alocasias. And then I see this weird looking one. Look at that. I've never seen this. What kind of plant is this? Anyone know? Uh, look at the blooms. It looks like uh, it's like fuzzy, curly. Pretty cool. All right, guys. So we walked away with that uh, San Severia moonshine. We're gonna head over to 217 Market, which is on the west side of the city. My favorite uh, go-to uh, corner convenience store plant shops. It's that's where my barber shop is. So we're gonna go drive up there and uh, see what they got. Alright guys, so this is my go-to store when it comes to looking for plants in the city. It is the corner convenience store, 217 Market, on Bloor and uh, West Berlin Avenue. And uh, my barber shop's just down the street. So I usually come here every weekend when I used to get a haircut every weekend. And I haven't been here in a while and I'm so excited to be here because I want to go check out what they got going on. So let's go. So they got this outdoor space and when you first walk in, you're greeted with all these beautiful uh, flowering plants. Uh, you got some calamod in here. Uh, some calla lilies and this huge jade plant. This is how I want my jade plant to be one day. Uh, you got some ficus benjaminas here, uh, some golden pothos, and I'll give you guys a panoramic view of this outdoor space. And they got a lot of hanging plants as well. Speaking of hanging plants, check out this, uh, this color right there near the string of hearts. If you guys are looking for string of hearts, ooh, and that is a syndapsis. Uh, also known as a silver satin, um, it's what I know it as. And then we got, uh, yeah, check this guy out. Look how beautiful and bright this color is. I don't have one of these. I'm considering maybe getting one. Um, we got some huge burgundy rubber plant right here. Got a 
few more right there. This is a got some bird of paradise, some snake plants, some monsteras. Look how massive this monstera is. We got another Philly fig here. We got some more Hoya Hindu rope, some goldfish vines. Look at this huge. Uh, Anasana next to a, I think that's a heart shaped philodendron that is on a pole. And then we get into, I think these are peperomias, crinkle, <laughs> they're rosa. And we got some more Venus flytraps, some calatheas, some uh, medallion. Um, look at that trade scantia right there. And Got some more Hoyas right here. Ooh, I saw a mimosa. Yeah. So this is, this reminds me of like back home in the Philippines. Uh, they grow like weeds, but they're sensitive plants because when you touch them, they close. Look at that. Pretty cool. Uh, they got some more Hoyas here. This is a pretty cool looking plant. Oh, look at that feeling. It is a perennial, I think. Uh, Jack Frost. Got some more. Oh, okay. So you guys are looking for a string of hearts. They got some here, lots of them. And they got some monkey tail right here. And on this side, I got this Hoya oh yeah, Hindu rope. I see some caladiums down there. So we'll check that out in a second. But let's finish off what they got here. Small pitcher plant. If you guys are looking right there. Some pothos. Alocasias. Oh wow, what is this? It's a shingling plant that we know of, but what kind? I don't even recognize this one. It's definitely not a high or a monstera dubia. I just don't know what that is, if you guys know. So this is kind of one of my favorite. Actually, this is my favorite begonia. I do like this one better than the maculata. I just love the pattern on it. I think this one's called the griffin wing. Uh, pretty cool. Okay, let's see what they got on this side. Jade plant. Some begonias, the maculata, angel wing. How much are these? 40 bucks for this one. Wow, $59 for that one. Uh, <gasps> oh my gosh. Guys, this is the whale fin, but the variegated kind. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, they got a whole bunch here. Okay, we're gonna definitely take one of these. Oh wow, shoot. Oh, look at this one. Let me take a look at this, see how you look. Okay, I like this one. It's got a bit of a tip damage there, but I like how they're about the same size. Okay, so we're gonna keep looking, but we're definitely gonna come back and check, see what we got over there. Uh, but next to it is some more Calatheas. Uh, there's a Zerbina one right here, Chinese Evergreen. These are those Caladiums. I like caladiums, but you know, they don't do well for me. They're very similar. I find they're very similar to um, calatheas where they just need their soil consistently moist. And I struggle with that sometimes in my place. Uh, but look at this beautiful philodendron moonlight or lemon lime. Oh man, that leaf is huge. It's gorgeous. 30 bucks for it. Mm, maybe, but again, philodendrons <laughs> don't do well for me. Some more calatheas here. Ah, some Audrey's. I love, I don't have a ficus Audrey, so maybe, maybe I might get one of these. Oh, and you got some uh, Cantia right here. <gasps> and they got some ZZ Ravens. ZZ Ravens for $60. Oh my gosh, do I see a Plumeria here? So I just recently got one, and it's a variegated kind, but this guy looks pretty cool as well. Wow. 
so cool that once you start kind of uh, getting into a, uh, a new plant or species that you end up like recognizing them more and uh, then you see all the different varieties and next thing you know you want to get all the different kinds. Alright guys, so I just noticed this huge, huge Oxalis triangularis. Wow, look at this. This is going to be amazing. Look how full that is. Oh wow, man, it's heavy as... <laughs> Holy cow, this is amazing. Uh, too bad it's in a plastic wrap because I would love to see that thing just out and full and open. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. Can't find a small one like this. So I think we're going to have to pass on it, especially if we're going to grab uh, that um, whale fin uh, variegated kind. This one's like $37, so it's not bad. But um, I think we're going to have to pass. All right, guys, so we're definitely going to grab one of these... Uh, silver satin synapses um, there's ones with like bigger leaves but I actually just want a nice tiny one and I want to obviously try and grow it but these ones with bigger leaves might be better <laughs> let's see how they look again normally I just like to look for new growth there's a lot there and then uh, just make sure that there's no pests but even if there isn't you know I've learned to just try and quarantine them at first and then uh, try and you know, spray them down just to make sure we prevent anything from uh, spreading if there is any pest there. So we'll grab one of these for sure. So I'm not sure if I'm going to grab one of these Hoyas, but uh, we're definitely going to go for... Okay, do we go for the ZZ Raven, a much more fuller one? Or do we go with the... Sans Viveria Whale Fin Variegated. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for this because <laughs> honestly, I, I don't know. I like snake plants and I just picked one up obviously at the other store, the, the Moonshine, I think that's what it's called, the silver kind. And But these guys are cool. Let's see what this is. So, I got about two that's about the same size. One looks, you know, the, the tip there is not as good. And then I saw this one, which looks pretty cool. Now it's got a baby one right there and there's some new growth that's coming there. We're definitely going to want to treat this guy because I'm thinking you need a bit of a uh, treatment. So I don't know. I like, I, I like this. I just also like the variegation in this guy. But this one's also pretty cool. Okay, let's go see what else. Some of these have like, you know, three or four leaves. Like this one has three. Um, but... You know, I prefer the ones that are a little bit more wider than taller. So, and this is why I like this one the most out of all of them. Okay, I think we're gonna go with this one. So there's 60 bucks. I um, think that's about regular for obviously this being a little bit rare. And uh, yeah. All right guys, so we picked our plants. We are gonna go with the whale fin variegated and the silver satin synapses. I'm so excited about it and so stoked. Like I said, you know, I had no intentions of buying plants, but especially whenever I come to 217 Market, they just always have cool things and uh, plants that are often hard to find, like the ZZ Raven, this uh, variegated uh, whale fin. And um, yeah, even a lot of these uh, Hoyas that I'm seeing, I don't usually see them in ma many stores. So uh, if you are in the area, definitely check this place out but for now we're gonna go pay for these guys and then we're gonna close off this little vlog by giving you guys a much more relaxing tour of this place